In mathematics, the Strahler number a Horton Strahler number of a mathematical tree is a numerical measure of its branching complexity. These numbers were first developed in hydrology by Robert E. Horton and Arthur Newell Strahler. In this application, they are referred to as the Strahler stream order and are used to define stream size based on a hierarchy of tributaries. They also arise in the analysis of L systems and of hierarchy biological structures such as trees and animal respiratory and circulatory systems. In register allocation for compilation of high-level programming languages and in the analysis of social networks, alternative stream ordering systems have been developed by Shreve and Hodgkinson al. Definition all trees in this context are directed graphs, oriented from the root towards the leaves, in other words, they are arborescences. The degree of a node in a tree is just its number of children. One may assign a strala number to all nodes of a tree, in bottom-up order, as follows, if the node is a leaf, its strala number is 1. If the node has one child with strala number i, and all other children have strala numbers less than i, then the strala number of the node is I again. If the node has two or more children with strala number I and no children with greater number, then the strala number of the node is I plus 1. The strala number of a tree is the number of its root node. Algorithmically, these numbers may be assigned by performing a depth-first search and assigning each node's number in post order. The same numbers may also be generated via a pruning process in which the tree is simplified in a sequence of stages, where in each stage one removes all leaf nodes and all of the paths of degree 1 nodes leading to leaves. The strala number of a node is the stage at which it would be removed by this process. Process, and the strala number of a tree is the number of stages required to remove all of its nodes. Another equivalent definition of the strala number of a tree is that it is the height of the largest complete binary tree that can be homeomorphically embedded into the given tree. The strala number of a node in a tree is similarly the height of the largest complete binary tree that can be embedded below that node. Any node with strala number i must have at least two descendants with strala number i minus one, at least four descendants with strala number i minus two, etc., and at least two i minus one leaf descendants. Therefore, in a tree with n nodes, the largest possible strala number is log 2n plus 1. However, unless the tree forms a complete binary tree its strala number will be less than this bound. In an n-node binary tree, chosen uniformly at random among all possible binary trees, the expected index of the root is with high probability very close to log 4n. Applications River networks. In the application of the Strala stream order to hydrology, each segment of a stream or river within a river network is treated as a node in a tree, with the next segment downstream as its parent. When two first order streams come together, they form a second order stream. When two second order streams come together, they form a third order stream. Streams of lower order joining a higher order order stream do not change the order of the higher stream. Thus, if a first order stream joins a second order stream, it remains a second order stream. It is not until a second order stream combines with another second order stream that it becomes a third order stream. As with mathematical trees, a segment with index i must be fed by at least two i minus one different tributaries of index one. Shreve noted that Horton's and Strahler's laws should be expected from any topologically random distribution. A later review of the relationships confirmed this argument, establishing that, from the properties the laws describe, no conclusion can be drawn to explain the structure or origin of the stream network. To qualify as a stream a hydrological feature must be either recurring or perennial. Recurring streams have water in the channel for at least part of the year. The index of a stream or river may range from 1 to 12. 
The Ohio River is of order 9 and the Mississippi River is of order 10. Estimates of that 80% of the streams on the planet are first to third order headwater streams. If the bifurcation ratio of a river network is low, there is a higher chance of flooding, as the water will be concentrated in one channel rather than spread out, as a higher bifurcation ratio would indicate. The bifurcation ratio can also show which parts of a drainage basin is more likely to flood, comparatively, by looking at the separate ratios. Most British rivers have a bifurcation Bifurcation ratio of between 3 and 5. Gliese al. Describe how to compute Strala stream order values in a GIS application. This algorithm is implemented by Rivix, an Esri Arcus 10.2.1 tool. The input to their algorithm is a network of the center lines of the bodies of water, represented as arcs joined at nodes. Lake boundaries and river banks should not be used as arcs, as these will generally form a non-tree network with an incorrect topology. Other hierarchical systems the Strala numbering may be applied in the statistical analysis analysis of any hierarchical system, not just to rivers. Arenas A. Al. Describe an application of the Horton Strala Index in the analysis of social networks. Aaron Fucht, Rosenberg and Amp Vermeer applied a variant of Strala numbering, which they called tree rank, to the analysis of L systems. Strala numbering has also been applied to biological hierarchies such as the branching structures of trees and of animal respiratory and circulatory systems. Dot. Register allocation. When translating a high-level programming language to assembly language the minimum number of registers required to evaluate an expression tree is exactly its Strala number. In this context, the Strala number may also be called the register number. For expression trees that require more registers than are available, the Seti-Ullman algorithm may be used to translate an expression tree into a sequence of machine instructions that uses the registers as efficiently as possible, minimizing the number of times intermediate values are spilled from registers to main memory and the total number of instructions in the resulting compiled code. 